You guys try being funny on that stage once. You know, once I used to do an act with two trained rats. Yeah, a trio. What's that? Well, it looks like a dame. Well, wait, maybe it's a stick-up. Yeah, maybe they're hiding in the bushes with guns. Yeah, but we can't leave her laying there in the road. All right, brave man. You step out and pick her up. And see if she's got a girlfriend for me. All right, I'll go, but remember one thing. Till if I get shot, don't forget you guys owe me two weeks' commission. Why is I at a time like this? Hey! It's Mary Lou! Mary Lou? Well, you should have seen Sam. He rushed out there all by himself and picked up Mary Lou. Where's Sam now? Why, the, the shock of being a hero got him so sick he's in bed. Oh, that's too bad. Say, Hal. What? Uh, what's Sam's last name? Uh, uh, Ward. Ward, that's funny. Yeah, why? Well, I have a friend of mine back home by the name of Ward. Boy, you must come from a small town. Well, yes, I did. I was on a newspaper there. I can still see the byline by Philip Miller, the star reporter of the largest newspaper of the town, The Epitaph. Whoopee, small town boy makes good. Yeah. I'm gonna make good here, too. Oh, Mary Lou's such a baby. A poor child. Don't cry, Mrs. Smith. Mary Lou will be all right. Oh, I hope so, Donna. But it's terrible. It's terrible. My child. Don't you worry. We'll know more about it when the chief of detective comes downstairs. Mary Louise, you can talk to me. I've got a little girl, too. I want my mother. You can talk to your mother again in a moment. But now, you must tell me. How did you happen to meet this man? I was walking home from church, and he drove up and told me that Mother met with an accident, and she wanted me right away. And you got in his car, and instead of taking you to your mother, he drove you out of town. Is that right? Yes, sir. Did he say where he was going to take you? Yes, he said he was going to take me to Barry. Barry. Oh, I can't remember the name. Try hard to think of the name, child. We want to get hold of this man. I can't remember it. Try again. <laughs> Try hard to think of it. Oh, please don't ask me any more questions. I want my mother. I'm only trying to help you. You said the name of the place was Berry. <laughs> was it Berrywood? Yes, that's the place. The Berrywood Roadhouse. One of the worst places in the state. I'll send your mother up to you now. daughter's all right. You can go up there now. That little girl's got a lot of nerve. She put up a desperate fight. That's all that saved her. Did you find out who it was? Get your information from headquarters. We're going out to the Berry Wood. Well, it's a good story anyway. Maybe you'll get that job for me. I'm taking it to the editor. I'm going with you. Oh, my darling. Oh. Oh. Hmm, story's all right. I'll have to send one of our boys to check it. In the meantime, I'll give it to a rewrite man. Oh, don't worry. If it's true, you'll get paid for it. Well, doesn't Phil get a job? Well, there's no opening for him right now, but I'll keep him in mind. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's the matter? Something slip up? Yeah. 
That girl was a wildcat. She jumped out of the car. Well, isn't that just dandy? Jim Murray, the brains of our outfit, pulls a boner. Yeah? Well, it was too bad at that. She was swell. You know, ever so often you fall for a dame. Some of these days you're going to get in a lot of trouble. It was so dark in the car, she wouldn't recognize me again anyway. Where were you going? Barry Wood. Say, who's out there tonight? Nick. How's about it, Nick? Well, Dutch, why don't you treat the boys to a drink? It's a good idea. Boys, the house is buying a little drink. Come on. Nick, may I have a drink, too? You're too young. Sit down. Hello, boys. Hello, Nick. Come on up and have a good time. Okay. Cool. Up. Yes, well, who'll tip them off? Well, never mind that, thanks. Call up Nick and tell him to scram. Good night, honey. Goodbye, you mean. Oh, well, okay, if that's the way you feel about it. <laughs> oh, what a big jump. What is this, a pink tea? What's the matter, you got a complaint to make? Well, you better talk to Jenny. My powder puff's worn out. When are you going to get me a new one? Yeah. Jenny, come here. I'm going to teach you to be polite and not insulting to people. I didn't insult anybody. The customer is always right. Get in that room. Oh, please don't make me! Get in that room! Come on. Nick, the phone. What's the matter, trouble? Come on, it's Belle. Hurry it up. Hello, Nick. This is Belle. Clean up Barry Wood right away. It's hot. That's right. Go to one of our other places. Okay. Clean the joint out. Huh? Must have been a tip-off. The rats have run to their holes. Come out, girls. It's the police. Come on. Come on out of there. Come on. The type of men who run the Berrywood Roadhouse must be exposed. I want you to write an editorial. Slaves in bondage. Then get Bill to interview each one of those girls. Get their true story. From now on, our policy is a crusade against vice. Hello. Yeah. Sounds all right to me. Yes, yeah, get the rest of the story. That girl Mary Lou just recognized a rogues gallery picture of good-looking Freddy. He was the man driving the car. The drag net's out for him now. It's too bad the word the rogues gallery picture of the other man in the car. Boy! Come here, boy! Boy! You, gee, you know, Phil, uh, Mrs. Smith says she's going to throw us out of the boarding house unless we have our rent by next week. Yeah, can you imagine that? See, I, I wished I could help you, but I, I just can't. Can't you let us have a fib? 
Well, how good are you boys? How good? We're a wow every place we play. Let's see. All right, here, Hal. Go ahead, stay right there. No, no, all the way down. Oh, oh, the idea. Now, when I jump, you come up. Right. Ready? Right. Hey, who? Hey, well, come on, get out of me, Hal. Gee, that hurts my feet when you're not there. Now, you ready, Hal? Right. Hey, who? Come on, Hal, hold still. Hal, hold still. That's what I want. Come on, Hal, hold it up. Hal. Hal, listen to me. Hal, listen to me! Do I get so mad? How I'm talking here. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what are you going to do now, eh? Stay right where you are. That's it. Yeah. See, now he's using his head. Yeah, but just a minute here. Come on. What wait. are you grunting about? Why, you're breaking my heart. Get off here. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, hey, Al. What? It's slippery here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Hal. Uh, you get up on my back. Oh, now, now it's my turn. Yeah, huh? I don't jiggle like that. Well, I'll find out here. Don't run around. Just stand there. Now, you ready? Wait a minute, Hal. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, impetuous youth. Well, what's wrong here, huh? Well, you wait until I count three. Why don't you say so? One, two, three. We'll jump on three, Hal. Jump. Yes, but just a minute. How do I know which end is coming up They'll here? Don't huh? be up now. One, two, three. Well, we finally did that. Ooh. Hey, what are you doing here? What's this? Oh. <laughs> now, look at him. <laughs> now, what's the matter? What's the matter? Why, it's broken. That's what's the matter. Well, fix it and go up there. Oh, I'll fix oh, it, all right. That's it. Now, stay right. Stay right Yeah, you better be careful. You know I'm up here. Yeah, I know you're up there. But you don't have to worry, Hal. No, why don't I, huh? Because... I'm down here. I think I swallowed the toothpick, Hal. Okay. Well, come on, I'm getting tired up here. You're tired. Stay right there, now. There. No. <laughs> There we are. Be right. Hey. See? Well. That's, how's that, huh? Well, that's all for tonight, Mary Lou. Hey. I think you're catching on pretty good. Do you think I'll get the job? You bet. I'll tell you what you do. Meet me for lunch tomorrow, and I'll introduce you to some of the girls. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I think the editor should have given me a steady job. He will, as soon as he has an opening. Oh, sure. When somebody dies. I'm coming to the barber shop tomorrow. Do you think you'll have a chance to see me? Sure, if you want a manicure. Oh, you're making a sissy of me with all these manicures. You like them, though, don't you? Oh, surely I do. See, I know a way I can make some money. Bill, playing the races isn't a business. If you really want to take a chance, why not get married? Oh, we've talked that over before. I don't want you supporting me. I want a job. All right, darling. I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm. Manicures. So. Soft hands you have, Miss Lee. The better to touch you with, Mr. Murray. Why, how much do you need? <laughs> Murray, please, just a moment. Not so fast. Well, I've been taking it slow for the past three months. Haven't oh. got me any place yet. Has it been that long? Uh, manicuring parlor. Oh yes, Mr. Smith. Just a moment, I'll see. I can give you three o'clock. All righty, that's fine. <laughs> Oh. 
So that's the reason I'm getting the freeze out, huh? Mm -hmm. Serious? Mm-hmm. Marriage? Mm-hmm. When? Oh, by and by. Then what will your name be? Mrs. Philip Miller. Miller, huh? What's he do? He's a writer. I write also. Oh, do you? How interesting. Check. Oh. Hello, Betty. Good morning, girl. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Murray. Is everything all right? No. Well, I've never had any complaints about Donald's work before. Let me see your nails. They look all right to me. The trouble is, all work and no play. <laughs> you had me frightened for a moment. I thought I'd done something wrong. Not a chance. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are the appointments? Oh, we're all filled up today. Fine. Don't you want some wine on them? No, they're fine. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Mr. Murray. How much? Listen, Don Juan, when are you going to get some sense? Ma'am? Better start using your head and forget about your hands. You'll be wearing bracelets on them. Yeah, what's up? That dame has identified uh, good-looking Freddy. The police are after him. Hmm. Why is Freddy now? In my apartment. Good. Have dinner with him there tonight, will you? I'd love to. Fine. And when you get to the coffee, I'll bring up some smoke. <laughs> Thanks a million, Mr. Murray. Come in again. Right. Donald, will you watch the desk until Miss Perkins gets back? Yes, I will. There's some girls out there in answer to your ad. Uh, send them in one at a time. All right. Step right inside. Thank you. How do you do? How do you do? Sit down. I'm from out of town. I came in answer to your ad. Oh, yes. You'll have to fill out one of these cards. I would like very much to get the job. I'll see that you get work. Thank you. Good morning. How do you do? Sit down. Thanks. Suppose you want to fill out one of those application blanks? I filled out plenty of these. <laughs> well, maybe this one will be different. <laughs> really? Mm, there you are. Well, I've had plenty of experience, and I hope I get the job. Well, you'll be hearing from me. Oh, thanks a lot. Do. Sit down, please. Just fill out this application blank. Yes. Have you been finding difficulty in getting work? I'm afraid so. I guess my landlady is going to put me out. Oh, what a shame. I'll see that you get work. Oh, thank you.
What's the matter? Ain't you got any more cigarettes? I ordered some. They should be up in a minute. Hey, there's something wrong here tonight. Are you stalling me? No, why should I? Well, you got me into this jam, and it's up to you to get me out. That's easier said than done. Raps of this kind are tough. Jim Murray can fix it. Oh, I'm not so sure that even Jim can help you. What am I gonna do, Bill? I'll get out of town. I'm gonna ship you out of the country until this quiets down. Where am I gonna go? Oh, to Ethiopia, I hope. Yeah? Well, I ain't going. What do you think I am, a sap? Oh, so you won't go, huh? Why should I? You're gonna see that I'm taken care of. Hello, Bill. Why, hello, Freddy. What are you doing here? Say, you two look like you've been quarreling. I'm afraid of this guy, Jim. If anyone picks him up, he's just yell enough to tell everything. You're mistaken, Bill. Freddy's not the squealing type, are you, Freddy? Of course not. Besides, you got me into this, and if you'd let Nick handle it, he'd have socked the good and proper. Yes, I know. I didn't hit her hard enough. No. no. I should have thrown a punch like this. Come on in, boys. Take him away. See you later at the club. Nice work, boy. Open the desk there and get me a cigarette. Did you have a nice dinner? No, not so good. Hey, why don't you marry the girl? There it is again. We never can be ourselves. If we sit in the park, we have a policeman for a chaperone. And in the boarding house, we have four chaperones. Mrs. Smith told me today she had a nice housekeeping room on the top floor. Gee, that'd be swell. And if we're married, we can lock the door, can't we? You're right, darling. If we don't start now, we'll never get anywhere. I'll get the license tomorrow. <gasps> that? Oh, we're interrupted again. Sounded like shots. Get the police quick. Olive and Maple. Calling car number 21, car number 21, at Olive and Maple, investigate the trouble. At Olive and Maple, investigate the trouble. That is all. Look, there's some people running. Look at that, somebody wait. Johnny, I'm hurt. Somebody got him. Who is he anyway? Oh, Someone must have thrown him out of the car. Oh! Why the fellow is dead? Oh, 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 well, that's good-looking Freddy, the man the whole department's looking for. Bill, that'll make a good story. Let's find a telephone. Here's one. Come on. Say, mister, may I use your phone? Certainly. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it all. Now, you get up here right away. All right. All right. What'd he say? He wants me to come right over. Jones is on his way now to check the story. Adams is writing up the copy. It's funny how that boy's always around when anything's being pulled. What do you mean? I wonder if those crooks are using him for a plant. He wants to get a job on this paper, you know. Well, don't hire him. I don't intend to. Hello. Give me Jenkins. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, listen. Good-looking Freddy's been snuffed out. That stops the lead to the big shots. That Bellywood Roadhouse is just small potatoes. 
There's more of those places around. Now listen here, here's a caption. Who will be the next? Give the public the facts. They have a right to know. Got it? Yeah, that's all. Entertainment this evening, a very charming little dancer, Princess Susanna Kims. Whitey, the music. Couple of hot shot partners. We're not doing so bad. There's four and a little over four thousand dollars. Come in. Well, there's no need in my asking how you came out. What do you think? I didn't even get dirt on me. You see, simple. The boys are experts. How about a little dough? What? He, he said a little dough. Oh, I think the boys have it coming to them. All right. I'm not handing out any orchids, but you boys are going places if you don't get too ambitious. Ambitious, boss? Hey, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Don't let the sight of all this money go to your heads. That don't mean a thing. Nick always gets excited when he sees a lot of money. Okay, don't forget what I said. <laughs> That's all. Good night. Good night. Good night. been four grand on that table. Yeah, and we're going to figure out some way to cut in on their racket right now. You took the words right out of my mouth. I 
what you're crabbing about. We're making plenty of money. A man's got to have a little fun once in a while. Oh, I don't mind the fun. But I think you're fooling around with the wrong girl. None of those manicurists know any of our business. All right, all right. Say, Bill, what do you know about this boy that Donna's going to marry, uh, Miller? Oh, not much. He's trying to get a newspaper job, and he plays the races a little down at Tuffy's booking office. <laughs> oh, I see. Trying to make a killing with a $2 bill, huh? Jim, that reminds me. We have 20 grand of Mark money. I wish we could unload it. Not a chance. Not a chance in the world. That money's too hot to put into circulation. Say, let me have a thousand of that, will you? Yeah. Oh, Jim. If any of that hot stuff was found on you, it'd mean a long stretch in the big house. Well, it won't be found on me. I want to on property. The horse is scratched. Oh, is he hurt badly? Lady, the horse is scratched. Well, I don't care if he's got the itch. I want to bet on Providence. The horse is scratched. He won't run. I want to bet on Providence. Say, uh, what are you betting on? I'm betting on a parlay. Parlay, parlay. I want to bet on parlay. Which horses? Oh, just one. Coffin. Coffin? Well, why do you want to bet on Coffin? Oh, I have a hunch he'll win all the dead heat. Oh, well, I think you better save your money. Put the dough on him. Put it in his side pocket. You better go outside and make that phone call. Tell those dicks to get here quick. At the post. No! <laughs> Gallant Babe gets away to a bad start. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. At the quarter, it's ten soldier by half a length. Fair oh, Helen second by two lengths. Oh, Tony on, Boy leads by a head. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Pardon me. Oh, please, oh. lady, let me listen, please. Oh. At the half, it's Fair Helen by two lengths. Tony Boy by half a length and Sister May third. Coming up fast on the outside. It's a driving finish. Fair Helen wins by a nose. I win. I had three dollars on this race. What horse are you picking for the next race? Not me, lady. I'm racing to get married. That's him there, second man in line. Just a moment. What's the matter? Take it easy, buddy. Well, what is... Mm-hmm. You'd better come along with me. Well, wait a minute. I, I don't know anything about that. Well, uh, we'll see. Don't. Don't, Phil. I didn't mind if you played the races. Well, I, I only wanted the money so that we could get married. Oh, I know, I know. You know, I can't understand who put those bills in my pocket. Can't the police trace that Mark money? They don't seem to want to. They, they think that I'm part of an extortion plot. Oh, so that's the reason your bond was so large. The folks at the boarding house gave what they had, but... But that's not even a drop in the bucket. Say, Phil. 
Mrs. Harris that owns that shop. She has plenty of money. I bet she could help us. Do you think she would? Well, I can try. Time's up. Goodbye, darling. You know, I, I certainly need one of your manicures that you give me. I'm so sorry I can't help you, darling, with any money. I know it looks like that I'm rich, but you don't realize the cost of running a business like this. The payroll and the taxes and everything. Hello? Hello, Belle. Jim. Donna showing up yet? Uh, yes. Did she get the bond? Uh, no, she's busy now. So what's the money? Can't you talk? Uh, yes, I can take care of you. How soon can you get over? Oh, I get it. Hold her there. I'm leaving now. Well, thank you, Mrs. O'Brien. 2.30, then. Uh, Mr. Jones is the next appointment. Okay. Where's Donna? Uh, she's in Mrs. Harris's office. Ask if she'll give me a manicure, will you? Sure. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Harris, but Mr. Murray's outside and wants to know if Donna will give him a manicure now. Uh, send Mr. Murray in here. Now, there's a man that can help you. He likes you and he's got scabs of money. No, I... I, I... Hello, Miss Harris. Hey, hello, Donna. Hello. Hey, why all the gloom? Well, Donna's pretty low. Her boyfriend's in jail. In jail? What for? Oh, somebody planted some marked money on him. Marked money? Gee, that's a dirty shame. But they can't get away with that. Well, they are. The poor kid hasn't any money for a bond or a lawyer. Well, that's easily fixed up. I'm having dinner tonight with my lawyer. Suppose you come along and we'll see what can be done. Well, I, I don't think... Oh, forget it. <laughs> cheering up. Now you just forget all your worries and leave everything to Mr. Lennon. He'll have fill out in no time. Oh, I hope so. Here's a retainer, Lennon. Let me know about the bond in the morning. Thank you. I hope you don't mind if I leave you now. I really have some briefs I must look over tonight. Now, don't worry, Miss Lee. I'll do everything in my power to help you. Good night. Good night. Good night. I 
I'm getting bored here. Let's go up to my place for a while. Oh, I couldn't do that. My heart's wrapped up in Phil. I've been thinking about him all day. I guess you are pretty tired. I think I'd better take you home. Thanks. A waiter. Oh, Phil, I saw Mr. Murray last night, a friend of Mrs. Harris's. And his lawyer's going to try and get you out. Oh, he is? Uh -huh. Well, he was here this morning, and he told me to plead guilty. Why did he do that? Well, I don't know. But he said that from the facts of the case, it didn't look like I had a chance. And that if I'd plead guilty, I'd get out in two years and maybe less with good behavior. Two years? For something you didn't do? Did he put up the money for the bond? No. Well, Mr. Murray told him to. Your friend, Mr. Murray, is giving you the runaround. Don't say that. He's our only hope. I'm going over to the shop tonight and see Mr. Murray. And I'll see what this is all about. Oh, darling, you're wasting your time. Mrs. Harris, I'm terribly sorry I was late. I was just over to see Phil. I appreciate your troubles, dear. But you're going to have to snap out of it and take care of your customers, or I'll have to get another girl. Is somebody waiting? No, but you just missed one. Donna. Yes? Yeah? Mr. Murray. Everything okay? Well, no. Your attorney told Phil to plead guilty. Guilty, huh? Uh-huh. Must be more to this case than we figured. I'll get a hold of Lennon tonight and find out what it's all about. Do you want to talk to him again? Oh, yes, I'd like to. All right. Well, I'll pick you up here tonight when you finish work. All right. Donna. Yes? There's a customer waiting for you in the barber shop. I'll be through at 6. All right. Oh, hello, Mary Lou. Donna. That man you were just talking to, he looks like the one who was in the car with me that night. He couldn't be. That's a millionaire that's trying to help me get Phil released. Maybe so, but he certainly looks like him. That's a terrible thing to say about anyone, unless you're quite sure. Oh, Mrs. Harris, this is a girl I've been teaching to manicure. She's very good. Could you give her a job? Well, I'll give her a chance as soon as there's a vacancy. Oh, thank you. Donna. That customer is still waiting in the barber shop. I'll meet you at lunch. Mr. Murray phoned you while you were out. Said he couldn't pick you up tonight, but he wanted you to meet him at this address. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Harris. It's a swanky place. You'd better look your best. Did he say Mr. Lennon was going to be there? Yes, he did. Thank you. I was hoping you'd remember me. Yes, of course I do. I see your young reporter friends in jail. That's right. Mark Money, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Someone placed that Mark money on him. I know exactly how much money he had. We were supposed to be married that day. Well, why should anybody want to frame him? That's what I came here to talk to you about. Say, what's the matter with you lately? You're always worrying and crabbing. Listen, I'm telling you that that girl is smart. Well, what of it? I like him that way. Did you give her the address? Yes, she'll be here all right. But watch your step. Yes, Mother. Now, let's get this straight. You say, number one, you're a manicurist in a barber shop. That's right. The woman in charge is always advertising in small town papers for girl manicurists. With no experience necessary. Right. Number two, 
Again, you say your friend Mary Lou recognized this Mr. Murray. Correct. Number three. I happen to know this lawyer, Lennon. I don't trust him. Maybe there's something in what you say. We have no proof. If we could only get some concrete evidence. I'm going out to this place tonight with Mr. Murray for dinner. I'll try to find out something more. Call me up if you get any real news, will you? Yes, I will. Oh, Donnie, you look lovely. Thanks, Mary Lou. I do hope you can help Philip. How do you too, Mrs. Smith? Good night. Good night. Boys, did you get a job yet? Well, uh, not exactly, Mrs. Smith, uh, but, but we know what's wrong with the act. Well, sure we do. We were doing it too fast before. Yeah, we'll do it very slow for you. Just watch this. Uh, come here, Hal. Get, get down on the floor. I said, very slow. Watch this. Here it goes. Mother, aren't they funny? <laughs> oh. Look at those. Well, turn on the lights, lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Let's get down to tax. Are you in or not? It's pretty tough business muscling on this Murray and Bell's racket. I'm in. They've been getting that good gravy long enough. Well, uh... Come on, boys. Lay it on the table. Are you in or are you out? That's a deal. I'm in. It's all set, huh? Here's what happens. Tonight, Dutch and I run the floor. You three come over and play around so Bell don't get wise. And when I give the signal, we'll take the joint over. Right? Check. Pay this. I was expected to meet Mr. James Murray here. Has he made reservations? Why, yes. yes. This way, please. Thank you. Why, Mrs. Harris. Oh, don't be surprised. Mr. Murray just bought me this cabaret. How nice. Is he here? Oh, he'll be along soon. Take off your wrap. I want to show you the place. I want you to meet some of my entertainers. Oh, I'd like to. What a charming place you have here. I'm glad you like it. Donna, this is Rosie. How do you do? How do you do, Rosie? The world acclaims her as their most beautiful brunette. And Lillian, Donna. <laughs> Hello, Lillian. How do you do? Our blonde Venus. And you can always find Nellie around the cocktail bar. Nellie, I'd like to introduce Donna. 
Hello. Hello, Nellie. She's won everything in beauty prizes all over the United States. How nice. Now, I'd like to show you our private dining rooms. Now, this is reserved for bankers. Bankers? A haven for tired businessmen. And this one is for lawyers. And in this room, the lonesome bachelor visits occasionally. Hello. Hmm, how are you? Mm. Sure. Okay. Now, isn't this a beautiful one? And in this room, out-of-town visitors are usually entertained. And in this room, the traveling salesman. Uh, uh, have you heard the story of... Uh... And this one. This is our oriental room, reserved for the exotic. And most of them are. Ow! Ow! Ooh, you rat! <laughs> oh, all right, you won't play like that. All right, that's the one for nothing. <laughs> and now it's my turn. Well, all right, not too hard now. I'm going home. Oh, wait a minute. on all around here. Uh, hello, miss. <laughs> May I call you miss or am I too late? Peppy, I'm just a little guy that's never too late. I think I'd better go home. I'll see Mr. Murray tomorrow. Oh, nonsense. Come on, girls. We're going to have a drink. Nellie. Oh, excuse me. Paul. I guess I'm too late. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need him as well. I don't mind Mr. Murray will do. be home soon. Paul, you take care of them. I'll be back soon. Mm. Let's have a drink, eh? Huh? Aye. Bartender, two straight whiskeys. No, no, mixed drink. Mixed drink? Always drink mixed drink. Oh, that'll make you sick. Nothing makes me sick, mixed drink. Nothing makes you sick? Nothing makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll mix it for you, huh? My friend, go on. You, you, uh, some whiskey, some gin, and some port wine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, here we go. See, open your mouth. That's right, a little whiskey. Oh, it opened your mouth, no. A little gin. And now a little port wine. It's supposed to be well shaken. Now close your mouth. Now hang on. Now swallow. Now, how do you feel? Wonderful. Oh, <laughs> I must have forgot the cracked ice. Say, didn't I meet you before? Mrs. Harris's manicuring shop? Yes. But I didn't do so well as a manicurist. Mm -hmm. No, you see, she, she's an entertainer now.
Now I know why I'm here. What for? There's a private dining room upstairs and a big party going on, and I'm invited. Come on. Can I have another mixed drink? Sure you can, and this time with a beer chaser. Wonderful. Come on. Do you think we'll have a crowd tonight? Why, of course. The night's young. I hope you're right. Have Nick send me up some champagne, will you? Right. Come on, girls. I'm having Nick serve us some champagne. Oh, oh good, good. Come on. I like you. Come on. We don't get champagne often, only when there's a guest. Recruits are waiting for you from the booking office. Okay. Line up, girls. Hello. Mm -hmm. You girls can all dance. That's fine. You know our club prides itself on beautiful figures. So I'll have to ask you to raise your skirts. That's fine. Now, uh, turn around. Uh, this little girl on the end, just a little higher, please. You check with the booking office? You have your orders. Kid. And you know she's too good for this place. Hmm. Too good, eh? Oh, so she's better than I am. You better go home, kid. Stick around. We're going to have a lot of fun. Oh, go on. Sit down and oh, take a look. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not. Oh, lay down. I'm going to help, Miss. Oh, Miss. Oh, you really want to pet you. I go. Sixty-four. <laughs> That's it, kicker. Fight. <laughs> Stop it! Come on, break it up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, scram. You too, Nelly. Please, Mr. Murray, take me home. Oh, don't be in a hurry. Let's have a drink. Oh, I'm sorry this had to happen. I told Nick and Belle not to give these girls anything to drink. We'll have dinner just as soon as Mr. Leonard arrives. Sit down. Well, I'm glad you came over, Chief. We ought to work this thing out together. That girl's story worries me. From what you told me, I think you uncovered something. We've suspected for some time that a gang is working the book racket here. This is how it's done. Advertisements appear in small town papers, offering young and attractive girls work in the city. No experience necessary. Uh-huh. Same old story. Country girl comes to the city to get a job. Yes, but when the girl arrives, she gets the job all right. But it's just plain housework. Of course, a plan. And they make it such tough drudgery that within a week she quits. Now what have you? A girl adrift in the city. Right. And you can readily see how within a short space of time, these booking offices have got control over their victims. And the rest is easy. I'm going to run a series of articles warning the country girl to be careful as to what kind of ads they answer for jobs in the cities. We don't seem to understand each other, Mr. Murray. You look beautiful when you're mad. So you want to play, huh? No, I don't want to play.
Some of the boys want to have a little drink with you. Oh, fine. New customers. Well, uh, drinks with new customers. Sure, Bell. Can I have a cigarette? Sure, Bell. Well, Belle, drink to the health of your new partners. What do you mean? Why, honey, we're declaring ourselves in. Oh, so you think it's as easy as that, do you? Don't make me laugh. We won't. But you see, you and Murray have been getting all the cream, while all we're getting is the skim milk. Sure, that's Certainly right. That's right. Murray will have something to say about this. We'll let him come in if he wants to. I've always had a feeling this boy was framed, but I've been holding him to see what's on the other end of the rope. Sit down. Tell us, how long have you known this girl down the lead? Why, well, let's go to the cocktail bar. Fine. I'll go get Murray. Never mind, Murray. Sit down. Oh, boys! Boys, get down here! Don't you come near me. Let me out of here! Go ahead and yell your head off. This room is soundproofed. Well, it looks like Murray framed this boy. Yeah, to get an innocent girl. That's a girl I love, too. You must get her out of there. That's what we're going to try and do. You better take him along, Chief. He's a good reporter. Come on. Take the place over? I guess you win. Now you're talking sense. Light him up, boy! Philip! Donna. Drop that! 
Come on, you. You're going to join your friends. Are you all right? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Well, get him! Quick! I want that story! Go out and find him! I want to get the Spencer! Ah, there you are. Where's that story? Well, do I get the job? Yes, yes, you get the job, but I want the story! Adam, boy! Here! Hey, hurry! I want next on the streets right away! Yes, right away! Police capture ringleaders in vice racket. Jim Murray and Bill Harris caught in vice net. Donna Lee risked life to save unfortunate. Racketeers brought to justice. Yes, get on the streets right away. Hey, can't you wait to the bar to get married? There's your desk over there.